After a three and a half hour public hearing today, the El Paso County Planning Commission is deadlocked on a vote surrounding a development dilemma. The vote is regarding a controversial expansion of Flying Horse North. That's in Black Forest. Cardio News Channel 13 Scott Harrison is live at the Regional Development Office in Colorado Springs where the hearing just wrapped up. Scott. Well, today's tie vote means that the proposal will be sent on to the El Paso County Board of Commissioners, but without a recommendation either way. And that disappointed nearly 100 people opposed to the project who came here today. On Thursday, for the first time, we heard from part of the team proposing a tenfold increase in homes at Flying Horse North in Black Forest. The developer's consultant disputes concerns that the plan doesn't follow El Paso County's master plan and doesn't comply with the area's existing uses. We meet a lot of those. Are there some we don't meet? Absolutely. It was been pointed out today. But we meet the intent of that master plan, and we meet many of those items. We also saw the first conceptual drawing of the proposed 275-room luxury hotel that's part of the development. But planning commissioners were evenly split on whether to approve or reject the plan. I don't see this as um, compatible with the master plan as far as its large lot, uh, residential, its uh, area of limited change. I, I, I just don't agree with that. There's enough reason to support, especially at this level, a, uh, a sketch plan that pursues this kind of development. Three commissioners did not vote, and a fourth recused himself because he lives near the property. It's just one step in a long process of considering this project. So on November 15th, it'll be the County Board of Commissioners' turn to look at this project, and if they reject it, we're told that the developer cannot resubmit it for at least another six months, which means there likely will be changes in the plan if it is presented again. We are live in Colorado Springs. Scott Harrison, KRDO News Channel 13. We'll continue following it. Scott, thanks.